This transactions on robotics paper addresses the elastic stability of COSERAT rods and parallel continuum robots. The work was supported by the National Science Foundation through the National Robotics Initiative. Continuum robots are defined by their ability to achieve movement through controlled deformation of a continuous elastic structure. For example, this parallel continuum robot uses six flexible rods attached to independent linear actuators, which are coupled together to achieve six off control of the end effector. Numerically computed solutions of static continuum robot models typically satisfy the first order conditions necessary for equilibrium, but do not provide any information about the elastic stability of the solution. The inability to detect or avoid physically unstable model solutions poses a major hindrance to reliable model-based simulation, planning, design, and control. In this paper, we adapt results from optimal control to determine the stability of Kirchhoff rods and Kosserat rods subject to general end constraints, including the coupled multi-rod models which describe parallel continuum robots. We formulate a sufficient condition for the stability of a given solution and also present a numerical test for evaluating this condition. We cast the static equilibrium problem as an optimal control problem on the special Euclidean group SE3 and apply second order sufficient conditions to determine the stability of any solution. This results in a so-called conjugate point test. If we find a conjugate point on the integration interval, the solution is physically unstable. This can be tested by evaluating the determinant of the matrix of partial derivatives of the boundary conditions with respect to the co-states. The results for a single rod agree with the Euler critical buckling loads for columns with various end conditions in the special case of a straight configuration, but our numerical approach is more general since it also accounts for large deformations. We validate our approach experimentally on a six degree of freedom parallel continuum Stuart Go platform. This figure shows the robot before and after instability. On the right, the boundary condition partial derivative matrix is singular along the interval, indicating instability. In this video, the robot starts from a centered configuration and translates until it becomes unstable. At the moment of instability, the numerical solution no longer describes the physical reality of the robot. The conjugate point test indicates that instability is occurring, so we are able to mathematically verify which robot configurations are stable.